Good morning students. Welcome to the third day of the Reset Reform School English session. Before we begin the day, I have to say something. Since six of you's cheated on your pre-English test, I'm going to have to cancel the regular English test and tomorrow's post-test. Since I know some of you guys are probably going to cheat again, and since you guys are even going to try to celebrate, you guys are going to have to do something. We will be learning how to make a website. Is that understood? Okay, Mr. Keaton. Good. Now I will write up on the board on how you can make a website. Here is the referencing process. 1. Find a book, journal, website or other source that contributes to your work. 2. Save the quote, image, data or other information that you will use in your work. 3. Save the source information that enables you to find it again, for example i.e., URL, ISBN, DOI, and there are other options. 4. Format the source information to the process. 5. Copy and paste the reference into the body of the text. 6. Repeat for each other sources that contributes to your work. And finally, export or copy and paste the fully formatted reference into your bibliography. What is the purpose of citing and referencing? 1. It gives proper credit to the authors of the words or ideas that you incorporated into your paper. 2. It allows those who are reading your work to locate your sources, in order to learn more about your ideas that include in your paper. And finally, Citing your sources consistently and accurately helps you avoid committing plagiarism in your writing. Alright. Now that you all learn how to assign your work, we will now watch a video how to assign your sources. Here we go. Hi. I'm Tina Cregan, and today, I'm going to show you all on how to sign a MRA format. Let's get started. The most important thing a person signs is a website. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Here is the original format, the author's last name, the author's first name, the title of work, the website, the day that it was published, the month that it was published, the year that it was published, the URL, and the day you access the website. Let's fill in the words. First, you fill in the last name of the author. Second, you fill in the first name of the author. Third, you fill in the title of the work. Fourth, you fill in the website name. Next, you fill in the day. Seventh, you fill in the website. And lastly, put in the day you access the website. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to sign a website on AML format. Have a great day. Goodbye. Oh, how incredibly rude. Someone put up How to Be a Big Idiot by Aaron McElroy. Aaron is lazy, and Aaron is lazy.org. I'm going to ask all of you. Who is responsible for this? Tell me the truth right now. Um, 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 okay, me and my beloved husband Marvin Anderson had a confession to make. We made a video on how to be a big idiot by Aaron McElroy. Saying Aaron is lazy and putting Aaron is lazy.org. Yeah. And we did that because Aaron is our upcoming case manager at our mainstream school. And me and Rose wanted to do that to show the class how lazy Aaron is. We're absolutely sorry about what we have done. Oh, 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 Marvin and Rose Anderson. How dare you guys make a citation on how to be a big idiot by Aaron McElroy. A website name known as Aaron is Lazy, and a URL name called Aaron is Lazy .org. That is so it. Head off to the Juvenile Detention Center now. I can't believe I'm in a cell without my beloved wife Rose. Can my life get any worse than this? I can't believe I'm stuck in a cell without my beloved husband Marvin. Can my life can get any worse than this?